Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Poco X3 GT versus the Poco X3 Pro. And guys, in the Poco X3 Pro is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 processor, which is a flashy processor with 8 GP of RAM. While on the new Poco X3 GT, we have a flagship MediaTek Dimensity 1100 processor, which is based on 6 nanometer architecture. And also we have 8 GP of RAM as well. On the back, we have a quad cameras on the Poco X3 Pro, while on the Poco X3 GT, we have a triple cameras on the back, and we have a 48 megapixel main camera on the X3 Pro, while on the X3 GT, we have a 64 megapixel main camera. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how much the difference between a Snapdragon 860 versus a Dimensity 1100 processor, which is the second most powerful chipset from MediaTek. So without any wasting time, let's get right into it. And guys, now let's see the boot up test. Here we go. And the logo is here, move faster on the X3 Pro as compared to the X3 GT. And guys, we have Android 11 on both phones. And also we have a MIUI version 12.5. So very, very interesting to see who is faster there. And you can see, and the new X3 GT has a different logo and you can see Poco X GT it is more faster when it comes to booting up and the X3 Pro it is also right behind there about one or two second difference between these two devices and as you can see that and both phones has a very similar display we have a 6.7 inch display on the X3 Pro while on the X GT we have a 6.6 inch display and also we have a full HD IPS LCD display with 120 Hz refresh rate on both phones and both phones also get a center punch hole which looks exactly the same as you can see and the X3 Pro looks more bigger as compared to the X3 GT and guys everything's closed up in the background and you can see no application is running in the background and also we have same Wi-Fi network on both phones now let's start off with the phone dialer like always that is more faster on the X3 GT as compared to the X3 Pro so now let's see settings that is a little bit more faster again on the X3 GT. So now let's go to the display on both phones. And you can see we have 120Hz refresh rate on both these two devices. I wish that we get an AMOLED display on the X3 GT. Now let's check out some more application. Now let's see Amazon shopping like always. And faster again on the X3 GT as compared to the X3 Pro. So now let's see the scrolling. That is again exactly the same. Now let's see some games application. Now let's start off with the Candy Crush Saga. Here we go. Exactly the same on both phones. No difference there. And guys also we have dual speakers on both phones. And also and the haptics it is really good on the X3 GT as compared to the X3 Pro. Instagram faster on the new one. Let's see pin out. That is again exactly the same, no difference there. Let's see Snapchat, exactly the same. Let's see Spotify, faster on the X3 GT as compared to the X3 Pro. Subwoofer, one more game application and faster on the X3 GT. I have to say yes, it is more faster there and you can see and the MediaTek. Dimensity 1100 processor, it is a little bit more faster as compared to the X3 Pro. Let's see Tampa Rain 2, last game application we have in this speed test and that is obviously more faster on the X3 GT but we have some issue on the X3 GT. It start, it start downloading something in the background, X3 Pro is done and the X3 GT. It is also right behind there but you can see that in the start X3 it is faster there if I didn't see that issue so now let's opening up the tutor that is faster on the X3 Pro as compared to the X3 GT Zedge and faster on the X3 GT as compared to the X3 Pro so last time launching the cameras on both phones default camera app now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one and that is more faster on the X3 Pro as compared to the X3 GT and guys, now let's see internet browser speed. I am seeing to for Google Chrome on both phones. Now let's see wikipedia.org faster on the X3 Pro as compared to the X3 GT. So now let's see the scrolling. 
and that is more smoother on the XCGT because I didn't see the 120 hertz refresh rate maintenance on the XC Pro in the wikipedia.org and next on the list is the apple.com faster again on the X3 Pro as compared to the X3 GT and you can see about one second difference there so now let's see the scrolling and you can see exactly the same yes I can see 120 Hertz refresh rate maintenance on both phones no lag whatsoever so guys now let's see RAM management on both phones so guys again we have 8 GB of RAM on both phones we have a Snapdragon 860 processor versus a Dimensity 1100 processor which is based on 6 nanometer architecture now let's see that who is performed good in the RAM management now let's see phone dialer refresh on the X3 Pro let's see settings no refresh Amazon shopping refresh on the X3 Pro let's see Candy Crush Sega refresh Instagram refresh let's see pin out and you can see again refresh on the X3 Pro so RAM management it is really really bad on the X3 Pro I don't know why let's see snapchat same result let's see Spotify same result subwoofer refresh again let's see temper and 2 no refresh this time let's see the tutor same result Zedge that is a refresh I think on the X3 Pro but I would say it is not refresh so last way back to the internet browser on both phones and that is not refresh on both phones so guys over I have to say regarding the app's opening speed as you can see that and the Poco X3 GT is performed more faster as compared to the Poco X3 Pro in game app in time I would say that in system based application as well as in social media application and Poco X3 Pro it is more faster there and also in terms of the gaming wise and the Poco X3 Pro it is a much better phone as compared to the Poco X3 GT because we have a Snapdragon chipset versus a MediaTek chipset and guys in the PUBG mobile game we get a smooth graphics with extreme option on both phones but after that in the balance HD HDR we get ultra frame rate on the X3 GT while on the X3 Pro we also get a extreme option in all these options we also have ultra HD on the X3 Pro as well so in terms of the RAM management wise as you can see that and the new X3 GT is performed really good in the RAM management as compared to the Poco X3 Pro so that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Poco X3 GT versus the Poco X3 Pro let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well and I will see you in my next video peace out